All right, everybody. Hello and welcome back to a new game to the channel. For today, we have got Timberborn that we will actually be checking out for the first time. As was already announced during the channel news, really, Timberborn is one of the newer games that I do want to be checking out on the channel with you guys. I think it's quite a cool and interesting concept. And uh, we are going to be taking a look today for the first time, getting a series rolling, and hopefully we will have a ton, a ton of fun. Um, bottom line, Timberborn is really a bit more of a strategic, like, colonization game. And uh, I think the backstory is something along the lines of you're basically playing beavers and humanity is long gone. And beavers are trying to, like, build up some sort of civilization. So uh, quite the funky theme there. Most definitely, but uh, from everything I've really seen online already, it seemed like quite, quite a cool game to get into. So without further ado, you know, let's go hit that new game button and get ourselves into our first game. That said, if you're new around here and if you do happen to enjoy this episode and want to stay around for the series, of course, also consider subscribing right down below. That would mean the absolute world to me. We're trying to 1,000 subscribers on this channel. There's still a few bunch to go. So every single person really does help out a ton. That said, there is apparently factions, which is interesting. I had no idea. We've got the folk tales, um, a little, uh, whatever you call that in English. I've got no clue. Easy going but hard working. Folk tales are expert farmers. They respect nature and rewards them with plentiful bounties. Comfort, food, and sturdy wood. Okay. And we've got the Iron Teeth. So two factions apparently. Iron Teeth are defectors of the traditional timber ways. They mastered iron and science to build advanced machinery. They achieve progress through ingenuity, efficiency, and disregard for the environment. Work hard, work hard. Okay, so apparently we cannot even play these laddies yet. So I guess that's just like a second approach to play through the game again after you've played with these guys. At least that's what it seems. You need to unlock them when you do unlock them when you get to a well being level of 11 while playing Folk Tales. So, um, these are the guys that we're going to start out with. And, uh, let's see what they have in store for us. And we choose a map, I suppose. Not really sure. Oh, right. So these are just, um, I would just like throw a dice or something, I guess. How many do we have here? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. Okay. Um, I don't really know. Does it matter too much? I think the diorama is maybe a bit small. I guess maybe we should... Let's let's do it like this. I think for this first like uh, experiment now with the folk tales, we start out with a recommended map. And then, you know, when we do get to the Iron Teeth eventually, maybe potentially, we just pick a map that you guys suggest. So let's start out like that. And then we go from there. We will go for normal. I think, you know, easy is usually boring. Everything else, I've not really got a clue how to play the game. So we'll start out like that. Same deal with the Iron Teeth. When we find out that eventually it becomes too easy, you know, maybe we do the Iron Teeth on hard. But that's that. Moderate resources. Draughts are milder at the beginning, but intensify over time. There's draughts, apparently. Good to know. Let's get going. <laughs> I'm loving that. The artwork is beautiful in this game. I can already tell you as much. I am really, really liking that. The building is marked as solid. You can build other structures on its roof. Interesting one. We will see what that means, I guess, after the loading screen. But you guys don't have to witness it, because I'll place a quick cut here, and I'll be right back. All right. Back we are. Didn't take too long. And we need to name the settlement. Hmm. So we've got Space City and Transport Fever. We've got, uh, let's call it Fish Haven, all right? We'll, we'll do a little variation this time around. Super creative, I know. That's going to be the name of our settlement. And there are some little beavers right there. Look at them. Cute. Okay, got some waters, got a town. I've got no clue what I need to do. Oh, here. Welcome. This tutorial will help you with all the basics of building a beaver settlement. Every new settlement needs logs. Only lumberjacks will cut trees, so place two lumberjack flags next to the nearby trees. Okay, where do we find these? Here. Wood. Lumberjack flags. Okay, but like this already covers that all, right? 
Why do I need to place two? Because I would imagine the other one I placed like here, right? But, oh, maybe here? I guess we're going to place that one here. I'm not sure how that one works. I would feel that, like, that just depicts the area of work for them. I'm not quite sure. Or maybe it is... Oh, I think employs a lumberjack, so maybe... So it does define the area of work, but one flag means one worker, I guess. Oh, well, that's fine. This guy will use these resources. That guy will use those resources. So moving on. The flags will not be built unless they are in the district's building range. Select the district center to see its building range. You can extend it by building paths. Okay, cool. So, currently not in range, but paths we've got here, I would say. And then I guess we start by just, you know, building a little path to down here. I don't know, like, how... Ah, okay, so that's already sufficient. And then we can go and do the same to this direction. I'm not sure, like, if actually directly connecting these things has a advantage probably does also i absolutely misplaced that so maybe we want to kind of redo that bit because i feel that that little bit with the arrow is probably how do i turn these uh i feel that this little bit with the arrow is probably where you want to connect like a street or something like a path whatever you want to call it but we're just going to leave that one open just in case no clue how to turn them or like in circles, but that probably works. Oh, we've got some statistics up here. Seven adults for children. Okay, looks like I don't see the children just yet. Maybe they're just chilling in the building. Eleven homeless beavers. <laughs> we've got homeless beavers, that's an issue. We do have some uh, food, but nothing else pretty much. But there we go, okay. So, build lumberjack flag. Now we've got the... Yes, yeah, so we've got the paths placed. There's two beavers. Headed to build these. And then, uh... He just worries about it a bit, you know? Contemplates life. Contemplates life some more. And even more... <laughs> Is he doing anything? Oh, there he goes. And then he just appears. Okay. So, the flags will not be built and we have that one. Okay, continue. Now there's some sort of something... Above here. The building isn't connected to any district center by paths. Good thing we actually moved that ahead of time. So I do suppose that we need to connect it. Every building with an entrance must be connected to a district center by a path. Be aware that district centers have a limited range. Build paths to connect the lumberjack flags to the district center. So we'll go and grab these paths again. And we'll make sure to actually connect this bit up properly. And we'll go and pull a path down here. And connect that one up properly as well. So that's that taken care of and the lumberjacks will not start working until you tell them what to do use the cut trees tool to mark an area for cutting a lumberjack flag only cuts trees within its range you can check by selecting a flag which well the range is obviously quite big i would argue this thing's even in range of that i guess that thing's also in range of this partially wow okay anyway so cut trees is this one i guess oh i like that one i wonder how they cut trees um I would suppose, you know, just, just the usual beaver way, but we'll see, I guess. So uh, that's a nice tree cutting area, and then that is another nice tree cutting area, and then they can hopefully get going. Beavers need water to survive. Build a water pump to ensure... Uh, oh, right, that looked like there was no water there for a second. That's like a very, very transparent water right there. Maybe it is because I'm like, ah, it was because I was in the tree mode thingy. Okay, so we want to build a water pump. Which, I guess we need to place here, right? Yeah, okay. So you've got some options in terms of placement. Not quite sure what to go for, but I think this is quite fine. That way we can nicely connect up a path as well. Boop, and there we go. So, did connect it to a district center. Does need to be built. I do suppose that without any wood, it won't be built. Now, uh... Well, I guess these guys are now taking care of cutting down some of the trees. Is that a little kid? It is a little kid. Little mini beavers. Cute. Okay, so they're just basically cutting trees down by looking at them, I suppose. Um, interesting bits. I'm not quite sure. It seems that this thing actually... No, it only employs one worker. Oh, yeah, there we go. Tree's gone. Nice. 
That's the first two bits of wood ready to go. And then, oh my god, that thing needs 12 logs. I think we're going to fast forward here for a quick second because that'll take a while to actually complete. I feel. Yeah. You know, the guys are building away. But it certainly is going to take a minute to get this all going. So. There we go. That's 12. And then we are just going to go to normal speed so they continue harvesting some wood for us already ahead of time. So that's the water pump done. In addition to water beavers, also need food. Makes sense. Build a gatherer food near some berry bushes. I guess these here, right? Gonna need to see where exactly to place it. What is that? Barrier. Natural barrier blocking water. Can be demolished. Ground only must be built on the ground. Okay. We are once more not seeing the water. I guess even in path building mode it goes away. Okay. But anyways, we need to gather a flag. Are uh, here. Kind of need to see where it makes the most sense. I guess... It doesn't really make a difference. It covers pretty much everything here anyways. And those are too far away. Would still love to know how I can actually turn these. Dot colon... Q, E, scroll, middle mouse button, right mouse button. Nope. None of them work. I've got no clue. If you know how to actually turn things around before you build them, please feel free to let me know down below in the comments. I'm going to place this gatherer flag right here for the time being. And then we're going to go to paths and structures and actually connect this little thing up. And then that'll get built as well. Sometime soon, I would hope. Let's fast forward that bit again. And... Oh, now they're all just sleeping, because they're all homeless. Oh, no. <laughs> homeless beavers. That is unacceptable. We need to change that soon. So, now this thing is being built, which is beautiful. That means we should have some food flowing in soon, and there they go, actually collecting. It does seem I don't need to, like, set an area for them to collect. They're just going to auto-collect. Yep. And then we need to build a farmhouse. Plant and harvest crops. If you're running low on workers, you can pause some buildings. I mean, I've got one, two, three, four. Four out of seven use, so that should be fine for the time being. But if we want to pause a building, we can click the pause button. Wait, no. Select a building, click the pause button, or press P. Like many other buildings, a farmhouse has a limited range. Okay, now, I would love to know if there's actually some sort of limitation in terms of the farmhouse. Uh, like, does it need access to water? Does it need to be close to water for, like, crops or something? I'm not sure. So... I feel like for the time being, we're going to place it somewhere down here. So if we need it, we're somewhat close to the water, I guess. I I hope that is the good choice to make. We will find out, I guess. 25 logs for that one. Jesus Christ. That's honestly a lot. I can literally just keep the game running on triple X speed all day long. Can change working hours up here, which is interesting. There's even weather forecasts. Oh, and there's like districts. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. O oh, mighty forest, how I pine for thee. <laughs> Unknown beaver poets. <laughs> it's the water and the life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a useful bit of information right there. A gulp of fresh water is enough to pump you up. Oh boy. They are lumberjacks and that's the way. They sleep all night and they work all day. <laughs> Popular beaver song. <laughs> oh, the lore around these bits is already beautiful. By putting berries in a basket, beavers accidentally came up with a tasty dessert. <laughs> Are you telling me they eat the basket with the berries? <laughs> what? I'm so confused. Okay, there go two workers. I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to do. Oh, nothing to do in range. Yeah, so I guess we actually need to get like some sort of... Yeah, unless you tell them what's when to plant. Use the plant crops tool to mark a carrot field. Car crops need to be planted on irrigated land. Yeah, see, that's that's what I was thinking. I guess this is irrigated. Oh, and this is dry. Okay. Okay, okay. Understood. Understood. Clear to me. So we will go and get... Uh, ah, plant crops. Carrots. Okay. Interesting. So there's other options, but it's carrots for the time being. I guess we're going to keep this somewhat close to the water for now, because, well, you know, that's probably the place where a drought will hit us the least, I would assume. 
got no clue. I've only heard of draughts and now I'm already kind of trying to pre-provision, but who really knows, right? <laughs> How that bit works. Uh, I guess we may as well, you know, just provision a little more area. It's not like we need it for much of anything else. Actually, we need to plant 70 carrots. Okay. It's a bunch. That really is a bunch. Well, you know, they, we can just kind of keep... Oh, wait. Does that actually... Ah, okay, so that's 68. Um, geez, that's a lot of carrots. Well, cool. There we go. They can take care of all that, and that should be sufficient carrots. While all of the buildings you place have some storage, they will fill up quickly. Build a log pile to store logs, small water tanks to store water, and a small warehouse to store berries and other resources. Okay, so let's get that going. I'm not quite sure here. So, storage. We will start by building a log pile. We'll get that going somewhat close up here. I still got... Oh, there! Here it is. R. It was hidden right there. You know, you, you get so used to these game tutorials sometimes, just showing you around all the individual functions that you can do, like panning the camera and stuff, and at some point you just become helpless when a game doesn't show you. So, oh boy. But there we go. That is the um, log pile right there. And then we can go and slap down a warehouse somewhere too. Which, what was the warehouse for? To store berries. Okay, well maybe we will get that placed close to the berry spot then and we will go and get a water tank going like here I think that makes sense on the one hand side it's close to the water pump on the other hand side it's also nice and close to the f <coughs> Jesus Christ I'm sorry close to the farm so that should help that said we actually need three of those which is a little more than I had anticipated but I guess we can place another one right there and mm, I don't know, maybe we'll place another one in a different spot. I'm not sure, actually. No, I think we'll keep them all closest together for the time being. Oh, there's a tree there. Well, that's great. Always trees in the way. Okay, so that's that's what we're going to be doing here. Water tank. Oh, you can actually visually see it fill up, which is nice. Or, you know, get drained, which <laughs> I guess is the way that things work here now. Well, that's beautiful. They're going to all go to sleep now. Work day is pretty much over for them, which is totally fine. They're going to go to sleep through the night, and then they're going to move on. Only 69 carrots, or 69 berries, I guess, remaining, by the way. So, good thing we do have that field. While this guy is gathering against things to kind of keep us up and running, we do seem to very much need those carrots to uh, stay on top of all the food needs of people. But that's fine. There goes another tank, and this thing is being built slowly but surely as well. I do love how there are some stages to this. I think that's quite nice and beautiful. So, cool stuff right there. Still missing logs, though. I'm not getting enough together, and look at how much of the forest we've already knocked down. It seems like it's partially regrowing, though. Or maybe they're just leaving the smaller trees to be harvested later. I'm not quite sure how that bit is working. You can see, all that's pretty much gone. So, um, jeez. It's quite crazy. Uh, we've, we've, we're literally axing the entire forest in seconds here, which is really, really mad. Hopefully, we can actually replant things. Homes. Increase your beaver's well-being and allow your folktales population to grow. Build enough lodges to house all your beavers. Beavers will not reproduce unless they're empty slots for kids. Yeah, I mean, fair, but, like, can we get more forest? Because it's going pretty quickly, just saying. Just a bit worried and all. Uh, we do have 10 adult beavers now, which is actually interesting because we've got two employed right here. We've got one employed right there. It's three. There's four. And that's five. So what I think we are going to be doing real quick is we are going to add on another lumberjack flag up here. Especially considering that this one down here doesn't really have many resources remaining. And we will also make sure to flag the rest of this. Oh, no. For cutting trees, you know. Got to make sure they... They know to cut them all. Cool. So, that's that. Now we need to build lodges, which are solid. Other buildings can be built on its top. Interesting. And then we've got a mirrored lodge. Oh. I mean, what are you mirroring there? Oh, the entrance. Ah, okay. I find that rather interesting, I have to say. can do something like that, you know. Boop. 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 <laughs> I like that. Kind of wondering, though, why why they have doorways here up front. Because uh, I feel that, you know, that doorway is kind of inaccessible. But who knows? 
Maybe it's a balcony when you, when you look from up top. I don't really know. That said, uh, that is a huge ton of logs right there necessary. Honestly, that's like 24, 48, 72? 72 logs. Got 22 currently, so. Yeah, you know, that's a bit. It's quite a bit. Um, What do you mean? Ooh, thirsty. Why are you thirsty? I've got like 20 units of water. Is it because they don't want to travel all the way down there? Maybe we should actually have a water tank up here as well. So they can kind of get their hydration at a little closer place? No, they just grabbed it. I don't know. We'll keep it going like that for the time being. Cool. Well, they're building away. So generally, that's nice, I guess. But, um, well, that log pile is a little empty, I have to say. The good news is, though, that some of these beavers do now have homes. That said, uh, it's about apparently like three beavers in one home, so we just kind of built homes for 18 beavers while we only have 11. I guess the plan is that they will rather quickly actually uh, reproduce and we'll, we'll have more kitties and then we need more spots. We'll see how that bit goes. That's all fine. Cool. Um, that said, we should probably go to triple X, not double X. Uh, well, two X rather. Um, kind of... A little too slow there at the time. Water is in a good trend though, so I'm happy to see that. I think in terms of food, you know, we're doing fine for the time being. The carrots should be ripe in a little while, which is also nice. Kind of really not liking that I've got two workers going here and... I don't know, I mean, they're really not doing much. So, I mean, I'm kind of considering to just go and plant a few more carrots, to be honest here. While they don't have anything else to do, and we don't really need the space that crazily. May as well use them i guess right so uh well that's the plan and uh yeah i thought so so how do i connect these up now oh damn it man that was like the worst idea ever to just slap them on top of each other i i i saw like oh you can put them on top of each other nice i will do that i thought they would just connect get connected through evidently they didn't so Oh my god, no! I need to research the stairs and the platforms before I can actually make these work. You're joking! Okay, we're gonna instantly... ...abort these. Issue being, we already have two that are useless now, so... Uh, ...not all too happy about that, as you can probably imagine. I will get another set of lodges out down there, but that's like super frustrating. <laughs> I wish, you know, that the game would have told me don't do that. <laughs> Not gonna lie. That's uh that's a bit uh well, but it is what it is. Ah, uh, mistakes happen, I guess. Okay, that that is what it is at the end of the day. I think we'll still have more than enough housing space remaining, but we'll probably need to build some lodges on top now. So what I'm already going to make sure to do is I'm going to go extend a path to out here. I'm just going to build another set of lodges back here, basically, especially since this is like dry ground. So I guess it's not usable for like planting crops and stuff. So we probably do want to just use it for housing because... Housing doesn't need any particular type of surface, I would say. Maybe we do things the other way around this time with the doors on the outside, and then we actually need to go and uh, build paths here. And I'm not quite sure how we can delete the other bit of paths. Is there any, like, destroy button? Oh, here. Do I need to do that bit by bit now? No, wait. Aha. Uh -huh. Fly path. Okay, that's cool. The lodges are done. And there we go with the science points now. So an inventor will produce science points over time, which apparently we get out here. Okay, cool. Uh, let's place that thing right here, shall we? I'm just going to use the dry ground up here to, you know, place buildings down that... Don't care for ground type anyways. So that should be nice. Everyone has a bed now, which is beautiful. Made some good progress right there. And, uh, well, you know, the logs are coming in. But, oh my god, man. Jesus Christ. 
Like seriously, look at this forest. We've been playing for 20 minutes and that forest is nearly gone. <laughs> These guys have been working. They've been busy, man. Holy moly. That's insane. But otherwise, you know, good stuff happening. All the carrots are being harvested now. You, you know, we've got tons of food flowing in. We've got tons of logs flowing in. Everything's being built slowly but surely. And I would say that we are making a nice bit of progress. Also, our beavers are happier than ever. With a high score of five points. Good stuff. But hey, you know, I'm quite happy with that. I think this has been a very, very good first episode. We've already learned a good bunch of stuff. And we've got a beautiful, beautiful little farm going out here. So quite happy about things. Um, and really quite enjoying the game thus far. Quite nice, quite chill. I hope you guys like it as well. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. In any case, we'll get back to it in the next episode. For today, this has been it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button right down below for the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet, also please consider subscribing right down below, as well as hitting that bell icon in order to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes. But with all that out of the way then, as usual everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I will catch you in the next episode very, very soon. Ciao.